We want to show you the bunkhouse camper that we have. This is kind of a debut of this camper, isn't it? Yes. This is a 2008 bunkhouse XL camper. There you go. We can leave now. <laughs> I'm Chris. <laughs> and I'm Rich. We're Two Wheels Big Life. And we are here today in New Mexico. Whereabouts are we again? We are about, we are south of a town called Truth or Consequences. We want to show you the bunkhouse camper that we have. This is a 2008 bunkhouse XL camper. There you go. We can leave now. <laughs> it's no? A, it there's is, more? It, there's, there's more to it There's that? a lot more. <laughs> So, okay, so a come couple along of, with us <laughs> and I'll tell you about it and what we have and then we'll, we'll go from the outside and the inside and we'll show you all about it. Yes. So if you guys have seen our previous videos, you know we pulled a Bush Tech trailer and I had a solar system on that Bush Tech trailer along with our tent. I took that solar system out of the Bush Tech and I installed it into the bunkhouse camper. Let's talk about the install of the solar. It's gonna be a portable unit. I'm gonna make that uh, that solar panel portable so I can move it from side to side and follow the sun around the camper. Um, ne next thing I'm gonna do is gonna mount the solar charge controller here with the Bluetooth control. I will mount the inverter held up in this space with the outlets going this way so I can get it up through here. And then I've got a 12 volt, uh, a little junction box 12 volt junction box that I'm gonna mount here on the side. Maybe I'll put a hole here that has a, a door that I can open up and just slide the cable through uh, for the, to plug into the inverter. So inverter on this side, 12 volt junction box down here on this side, solar charge controller here on this side. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another battery, another 50 uh, amp hour battery. So I'll have a total of 100 amp hours. Um, batteries. I'm gonna put those two here. I'll, I'll put a, a little ring piece here and here. I'll run a rock strap around this side up over like that and then I'm gonna put one here and here and I'll go around the front so it'll hold the batteries down and everything. I'll tie all the wires up nice and neat up against the side uh, and then everything will be out and then I'll have this whole front storage place here for storage. So we now have that whole complete solar system plus an extra battery. We have a, a total of 100 amp hours of battery. And a lot of people have asked, what do we use for that battery? What do we use for this, uh, this battery for? So we use it to edit videos. We have two computers. We have all the GoPros, all of our phones and that kind of stuff. And with the bunkhouse, we now have a heated blanket. So I just got a text from Richard 
and he said come on out to the camper and check out the bed he has been tinkering out at the bunkhouse just about all day so I'm curious to know what he's been up to what you got <laughs> I knew you'd bring that in <laughs> Hold on. oh my look at the twinkle lights <laughs> yep you've been nesting I have been so, I, I think I got everything connected everything ready to go okay so you are laying on a heated blanket okay super warm you need to come up here oh my gosh yeah yeah and so, it's and with the battery that we have and it's been steady at 90 90 percent the solar panels not in the sun i've got everything on basically i got the twinkle lights on I got, I'm charging up a, a, a speaker, our speaker. I'm charging up a, a uh, bright light that we have. Um, I've got the 12 volts of power supply mounted and the powering up the bed. Um, I have 110 volt available so we can charge anything we want. Man, this, this is a game changer. <laughs> it's a game changer right there, huh? And it's just a small. Yeah, it's, it's a, a small, small one to go across both of us, like in the body. Yeah. You know? We now have a heated blanket that will run all night long. And <laughs> since it's what? 27 degrees at night. 27 degrees at night. <laughs> we have a little buddy heater and a, a heated blanket. And we were toasty, toasty warm last night, I must say. Yes. I've also changed the Heim joint. I changed the, the hitch assembly and I installed a Heim joint on it. Um, and also, uh, I removed the cooler that was on the bush tech and mounted the cooler that we had in the front, which is what we use as a dry box yes. now. So we use that, it's just fully insulated. I even insulated the uh, the top. You can find that video right here. The other thing in regard to this specific bunkhouse camper is it also comes with- The screened in a, porch. A screened in porch. Yeah. So we're kind of looking, well, not really looking forward to mosquito season. Yeah. However, I think we're a little bit more prepared for mosquito season. Let's go show you the inside. Absolutely, come right. on. Okay, so here we are on the inside <laughs> of our screened in porch. Yes. Of the massive, imagine 2,500 square foot of space. What? And then that's not what this is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? Correct. <laughs> but it does have a king bed. It does. It has a king size bed, which comes complete with um, an electric blanket, Thank like we you. talked about earlier, which is a real godsend on these cold desert nights. Yes. Yeah. Another thing that <laughs> yeah. we're very excited about is the kitchen setup that we have. because if you've watched any of our previous videos, we try to do as much boondocking as possible. And when you're out boondocking, you have to rely on rocks, stumps, <laughs> How many the times ground. have we done? How many times have you been looking for a stump? We gotta find a stump, <laughs> yeah, honey. Yes. Find me a stump. So this season, we're gonna be traveling around Arizona and Utah and maybe Nevada. Well, there's not a lot of large rocks and stumps in yeah. that area. So we decided that some type of kitchen setup would be better for us, not only for a place to put the stove so that we can cook, but also a place where we can prepare our meals and wash our dishes. So last season we had a very small table, collapsed, uh, very compact that we could carry it with us, yeah. but we were always fighting over who got to use it for what purpose. So this season we decided we are going to get a much bigger table and a taller table so that we can sit down, pull our chairs up next to it. Right. We can eat off of it, especially if there's no picnic table available, which there certainly isn't here where we're camping. No. And, um, you know, we're doing this YouTube channel, so we have to have a place to sit down and work on our computers and be relatively comfortable for the first time. I mean, 
mean, tent living is great for a season, but to try it to do it permanently and live that way, it, you get to the you get to a point and it's just not comfortable enough. Right. And what we have now are some large alpine chairs. They're the fold-up chairs. Yes. We have we have places a place to put them now. And a, and a comfortable chair to sit at. And I did do a tad bit of female nesting, just a little bit. <laughs> what did you nest? <laughs> we purchased these um, mesh bags that uh, when they compress, they're flat, but when mm -hmm. they come up, you have these individual storage compartments. And we just, you have, you travel with these odds and end pieces. And if you don't have a home for them, then either you lose them or you're, you're always frustrated because you're trying to find a spot for them and then you have to move because you need that spot. So these mesh bags are perfect for little things like Kleenexes or extra glass case or, you know, my Kindle. Right. So some lotion or exactly. whatever. Exactly. Just needed. all those little odds and ends things that you just don't have a home for is what it, what it is. So that was my nesting. <laughs> yeah. Did you a little bit of nesting with I that? I did. And then um, yes. a lot of people in our comment mm -hmm. have mentioned you guys have got to get a little Mr. Heater, Buddy Heater. We did get a Mr. Buddy heater <laughs> and it's fantastic. We also put up some rope lights and have rope lights inside uh, at night and it's... Those aren't mood lights? Well, they can be mood lights because they have lots of different colors. <laughs> twinkle lights. Yeah, we can have twinkle. We can make them twinkle. We can make them flash, yes. make them blue or red if you're feeling a little feisty. Yes. What happened at the end of last season is, it, first of all, it got cold. And we, and weren't, we weren't prepared we weren't, at all. We weren't prepared. Not we weren't prepared with clothes. We didn't have a heater, and it, we got really uncomfortable. And the other thing is, it got dark. <laughs> I'm trying to film something. What do you want to film? I'm filming us. Us in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's, like dark, it's dark. again See? because it's dark. See, look, dark. Dark. Light. <laughs> dark. <laughs> it gets dark really early here. Very quickly. Very though. early and stayed dark for a long time. And so we found ourselves huddled inside the tent with really nothing to do and no except, lights. Yeah, except to watch a video that we downloaded or yeah, something. Exactly. You know? So That's these it. these twinkle lights have just really it's almost like camping in a camper because mm -hmm. everything is lit up. You can get you can you can get up, you can walk around, you can do your hobbies, you can do whatever you want to do. You're not just confined into a chair mm -hmm. and there's nothing to do. So I'm really excited about those. Yep. One of the things we did, we mentioned on the front, uh, on the, the first part, as was about the solar. I ran a an extension cord up through the deck and put a four gang box and have four outlets there along with USBs. I also ran 12 volt, a specific 12 volt power supply to give me a 12 volt like cigarette lighter plug in. So it can run specifically off of 12 volts instead of going through the inverter. It's a step up from what we have. Oh, it's very comfortable. We, it's really comfortable. Yes. Here is a feature I don't know if we've already discussed with these, but the whole bunkhouse is just lined with windows, which makes it just stunning when it's nice. So when it is hot and we want to keep, you know, the sun out that has these uh, shades that we can put up. And then on top of that, it has these for at night, which then totally makes it secluded and private. Or you can just open it all up and we've got the screen that lets a nice breeze through when it's really hot. There you go. That's well, it for now. That's we it for now. <laughs> that's it for now. If you like this video, be sure to give it a, a, a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't done it already. Yep. Uh, we really appreciate everything that you can to help support this channel.